Hi guys, today we're going to make kids bathtub paint. So, I got a bowl here and I have some cornstarch and I have some baby wash. And um, the ones you get in the stores are generally recommended up for ages uh, three and up. Um, and of course you don't want to leave your child unattended in the bathtub, of course you know that. Um, so we're going to mix together equal parts of cornstarch. And I'm just doing little small portions. And we're gonna um, use baby wash. And I'm using uh, Tippy Toes Baby Wash. And this is hypoallergenic and tear-free. Um, of course, it's not food, so you don't want them to eat it. And it had some other things that it was uh, free of. Actually, several. So I got a tablespoon that I'm doing of the cornstarch and a tablespoon of the soap. And I'm going to make several colors, but I'll start out here with just one to show you. And we're going to mix this together until it's all combined and nice and smooth. And then we're going to add some food coloring. So I'm going to do some green. And you can start off with a couple drops, but you can put in several and get it as dark as you want. Now I tested this on my own bathtub, and I have a fiberglass bathtub. And um, I left it on for 10 minutes, and I had it you know, pretty dark, the color. And I'm probably going to make this one about as dark as I did that one. Um, and it didn't stain it at all, but if you're concerned about it, you could always try testing it on a small spot in your bathtub and leaving on, washing it off, see if it, if it tests okay. But I, I didn't have any problem with it, so. And that's about as dark as I had it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting these in ice cube trays or an ice cube tray and I'm just going to do individual colors in the tray and um, I'm sure if there's something else you want to do it in separate little containers or whatever, I'm just going to do mine that way. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix up some other colors for you. Okay, so I've mixed the red one up and I just wanted to say that making red, it always requires a lot more food coloring to get a red at well, least a dark enough red that you want. So I did put quite a bit more in the red that I was making. Um, so with this one stain, I don't know, just because it has so much more food coloring in it. Um, and also it's a little bit more runnier than the other ones because of the, the food coloring, the extra food coloring. So I just wanted to let you know about that. Okay, so I got all my colors done. I decided not to fill up the whole entire tray. That's a lot of colors, but you could do that if you want. And I do have a paintbrush. I don't know if you want kids to have paintbrush in the bathtub or not, but this is like finger painting too. So we're just gonna go ahead and finger paint a little bit. Please ignore my, uh, ignore my finger painting art. I haven't finger painted for a very long time, so. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try some. And yeah, it's all over my hands. I'm gonna try some with the paintbrush. So there's the kids bathtub paint. I hope you liked my video and please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and thank you guys for watching.